Mr. Webster, recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Appreciate all this. Thank, thank each one of you for your presentation. Uh, lots of questions. I don't know where to start. Captain Ambrosi. Um, we, we as a committee are continuing to conduct rigorous oversight on the issue of 5G C-band. And I, I was wondering is if, uh, and what its effect is on safety. How, how are you uh, and your organization engaged in this issue and keeping everybody up to speed? Well, thank you, uh, Congressman, for the question. Uh, ALPA is, is engaged on the issue. I, I'm pleased to report that at most carriers, progress is being made towards the, the deadline in, in July. Uh, however, it's unfortunate that we got to where we are today on this issue. There should have been a better uh, collaboration between the FAA and FCC on this issue. The, it, it's, it's something that this body should look at going forward, and we're happy to you know, continue collaborating on, on the issue. So going forward, uh, what, uh, what recommendations would you have uh, to keep everybody engaged? Well, the FCC uh, obviously should have coordinated with, with the FAA on this issue uh, at, early on in the process. So uh, we're behind the, behind the scenes now. We're trying to, trying to fix this uh, after the fact. So I can assure you that our, our pilots and our members are, are taking this very seriously and, and working to uh, um, ensure that every flight is operated in the safest fashion possible. So what are you doing to keep your members up to speed on, on the uh, problems or whatever? So the airlines, individual airlines, disseminate data to the members and or to their pilots uh, of where it is. The, the NOTAM system has information that says uh, which airports have an issue, which airports may not. Uh, individual fleets, uh, some airlines have multiple different airline, airplanes, so some fleets have been converted sooner than others. Uh, and we as an association also disseminate uh, safety messages to our members on, on, uh, on an ongoing basis. But right now progress is, is being made, but but we, we do urge the um, we do urge the FCC and FAA and the and and the car the cell phone carriers to to continue taking this issue very seriously. So, do you think it's better today, as far as just keeping people up to speed? Uh, it's better than it was, in my opinion. I've only been on the job for a month, but in my opinion, it's better than it was a year ago. Um. Well, I had another question, and that was, do you think that uh, those communications, especially with the FCC, is there um, some sort of snag that we could help with, improve, or change so that there would be more co collaboration? Um, that's an important question, uh, sir, and I would, I would like to take that back to my engineering and air safety team and, um, and find out specifically what what they feel would be the, the best way forward, and, and I'll have my team share that with, with your office and the, and the committee. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks each one of you for appearing today. We really appreciate it. It's very good information. Yield back. Thank you, gentlemen. Time's expired. Uh, 